Golf mates, day three of our Scotland trip. Oh my God. Oh my God. We've just turned the corner, next minute I've seen golf everywhere. And it's called Gullen. Gullen one, two and three. And then it got to me thinking then, how many courses in here here? Well, within about a five mile distance, we've got Gullen one, two, three, Killspindy, Archerfield, Murrayfield, Renaissance. Uh, this is all in about a few miles. Honestly, you could stay in this area in East Lothian and you could get a push bike to about five or ten courses. Honestly, I've never seen it like it. Today, we're going playing golf with the coolest man in Scotland I know. He is the coolest golfer I know. I'll lay into a secret when we get there, but we're going Archerfield Estates. Don't know which course we're playing, he's going to let us know, but golf mates. This trip has been amazing, the weather's amazing again, and also you can join us on this trip or do the same experience. All you have to do is comment Red Lion Rentals for a chance of winning this transporter for the weekend, and you can do what me and Joe have done, which is have a jolly good laugh. Right, golf mate, so we're at Archerfield. What a laugh coming in. Did you see that? For fox sake, slow down. How cool is that? Anyway, talking about cool, let's get on the first tee. Are you ready? You're going to meet the coolest man in golf in Scotland. Golf mate, so we're on the second hole at Archfield. We're having a three hole match against the coolest man in Scotland. I'm going to take him on on a par five, par three, and a par four. You're asking, who is this man, coolest man in Scotland? Well, it's our Graham. Now, you're probably asking, with a name like Graham, how is he the coolest man in Scotland? Well, it's a nickname we have for Graham. I made it up. It's called CC. And no, it's not a lady's name, it's CC. Club champion, yes, he's a club champion. Three times in the last 13 years. Could it be unlucky for me? Well, we don't know. Graham, on the channel, we play for five pounds. Have you got five pounds? I've got five pounds. Right, and I don't want coins. No coins. But the problem is, Graham, we're gonna to get to know you in a few questions, but he's done me like a kipper. Play stroke 12, 10 and 18, so there's no shots involved. Graham's handicap, plus one. On that note, Graham, can you fire us away? And look at him, he is cool. <laughs> Everybody goes surfing, <laughs> surfing you. Right, Graham, par five, what are we seeing? I really feel like I should tell you where we're going here, because... Go on. Well... Well, you see it all in front of you, mate, but you want to try and avoid these bunkers on the left. The bunkers up the right, they are probably just out of, out of uh, our distance, mate, anyway. My distance, yeah. Well, we'll see. So, Graham, he's got a little hernia problem, he wants to get that in. Can't swing full at the moment, but Graham, trust me, is Scotland's young man Pat, that's all I'm saying. He is steady <laughs> as a rock. Straight, straight, straight. So, there's a joke I am going to do, is this. Are you ready? Anyone remember Cilla Black? Okay, so Graham with a quick, quick recap. Reminder. You all right, pal? Sorry yeah. about that. Ready to go. So what we're we doing, par five then? Par five, big bunker straight, straight right in front of us. Right-hand good, isn't it? Favour the right-hand side, that's it, pal. Look at that, beautiful. I think the shot tracer's got that, and then if it gets a zoom, that's right on the side of the fairway. Just patted down there, about 260. Chappy, chappy. And he wants to play off scratch, because technically, we won't have a shot anyway. So we've got a little bit of pressure on you, Liam, after playing so well the last time we played. I did. No, we thought I had 38 points, until yeah. we come in, and I give myself a shot when I should have torn off, and in the end, I only had 36 points, didn't I? I didn't have you down as a bandit, mate, if I'm being honest. Well, I just got the handicap wrong with the slope on the other course, because it's the other course is a tad easier, isn't it? Yeah, I would say so. Right. So this is the hard course. Oh, stop it. That should be just in front of that bunker on the right, is it? Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Do you know what? When you play with cool dudes, 
Did you hear him then? Lovely. I told you, he can't help it. He turns Lancastrian. <laughs> I don't even think he's Scottish, mate. He's a hybrid. It's Alexis. CC. Who's going to win? CC or me? And don't forget, we're up here because of Red Lion Rentals. He's seen it. He wants to buy one. <laughs> I'll take two. Snowboard on top, surfboard off for winter. He's got it sorted, <laughs> hasn't he? What a man. So what have we got? 270? You've probably got about 250 to the flag. Is it? I'm just going to hit. I'm just going to hit hybrid straight over that bunker. And that water has it comes across or just stops? Uh, it comes across, but there's nothing in it. So if you if you go in there, you'll be able to hit it out. All right, golf mates. Graham, second shot, hybrid. He's going to try and go for about 20 yards short of the green. I think 250. We've got left hand side. A little bit choky. Tad heavy chops. Tad heavy, my friend. But otherwise, okay. Thing is with golf, it's all about your third shot, isn't it? If you're not reaching, it's your third shot, isn't it? Well, out of the par fives, mate, out of the par fives. Hybrid's a club. You can get to the front edge of that one. Do you reckon? Do you want me to hold? Do you want me to hold that on? No, you're all right. Pop I, it down. I just, if, if I go right, all them bushes come into play, don't I'm I? just worried about the, brunk, the bunker in front of you, mate. I'm... This one or the second? Well, there's, there's two. <laughs> no, this club's pretty all right. I'm hoping so anyway. What a day, eh? The sun's out again. Oh, oh you left. Sit down. Oh, it's rough up there, isn't it? I think Ooh. it might have just got down. Just got down. Tell you what, golf mates, so you go. Great drives, two not great second shots with hybrids, isn't it? Average at best. Graham, East Lovian. Yes. How many courses have you played around here? Have you done them all? I would say I've played at least 90% of them, Liam, yeah. yeah. And they're Favourite? all. Oh, you're going to have to see your own track now, aren't well, you? Well, it's difficult to see past Muirfield. I mean, it's a British Open course. It's one of these places that's a little bit, I don't know, old school in their mentality, but as a golf course, there isn't many better. Is it good? It's really good, mate. Really very good. And the bet, I would say the more you play it, the more you realise it's, it's just a fantastic design. Because it's not a traditional Lynx course, it kind of does two loops. There's an inner loop and an outer loop, so depending on... So it's not nine out, nine in then? No, so wherever you are on the course, depending on which direction you're playing a shot and the wind's always going to be different. The wind's obviously blowing one direction, but you're going in so many different directions. Right. It's just a great test of golf. Right. Well, I'm phone mine, it'll be a chip out. You're OK. But how far have you got, Graham? Uh, 120, mate. 120. 120. Is that a solid 7-iron for you? Well, yeah, out my boots. That's a 7-iron. How are you playing it? I'm just going to I'm just gonna play a full sam uh, pitching wedge, mate, if I'm being honest. Well, you're in position here because I'm going to. I can chip out sideways ish. Right, bad second shots. Graham's done all right. And I'm the old gorse. Pitching wedge for Graham, 120 summit. Look at this golf, mates. Ooh, that's going to get. That's nice, isn't it? See the old Arnold Palmer walk through there? Yeah, was that because the groin oh, got you? The, old... the hamstring. What was it? What, which one have you done now? That's Anderson. the old hernia, that, mate, yeah. You know, you remember him, sick note, Darren Anderton, don't you? <laughs> eh? That's me, sick note. <laughs> and the wing got up. Ooh. Right, golf mate, so I can either get really in this spiky bush and get it there or just chip it here. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's spiky, oh, isn't it? Oh, oh. You're allowed to get a stance, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because where you are now, I want to try and get it. Oh, oh God, this is. Uh, Spiky. Hey! Oh, mate. Go on then. Tell Go you, on you're, then. You're a braver man than me for getting in there. That's. Do you. Ooh, nasty. Hey! hey. Short, I could get an half. I get an half here, I feel like a, a <laughs> loss to him, I tell you. All right, golf mates, have to get this close. And this fringe here is nothing but, well, it's like some people's greens. I'm going to have to put a little uh, check on this, I think. Please get it to the old. Come on, give myself a putt. And I've finned it. I'll hit it. Oof. And I've finned it. I've had a look. There's two shockers there. There's two shockers. Anyway, here's Graham with a reminder how many we've had. Graham, <laughs> how many have you had? That'll be four now, Liam. And what have you had? I've had three, mate. Well, let myself down. Hey, what a great drive as well, eh? Uh, great drive. Bobby Dazzler. So here's Graham for birdie, I'll get my shadow out of the way. 
Great good story shortly about Graham's putter. It's as uh, it's very old. And uh, it's not true what Scottish people are tight, but he will <laughs> not change his putter grip. I'll show you after. <laughs> anyway, Graham, I'll be quiet while you line this up. Thanks, Bob. So we've got to watch him now. Me shall we. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> me shall we like for him. what of that that should have been the nickname that what me shall we yeah he's got a bit of Tommy Fleetwood in him hasn't he but let's see <laughs> here we go Graham for birdie let's give it a rattle and a shake it's going to get there has it got the line ooh take that away Graham take that away Right, I've made a dog oh, of this, but dear. I've got this for an half. And you just never know in golf. You never know. You never know. Now, I can't be short, Graham. That'd be a bit of a naughty one, wouldn't it? It's a bit slippery down there, Liam. It's quite quick, mate. Well, it's got to go in, on it? Yeah, you don't want to be short. We're one down to CC already, club champ. Oh, he's giving it a chance. He's giving it a chance. Oh, if I hit it, I had that. That was going. That one, oh, it close. That was it. Effort. Lovely effort. Nobody likes to see that. Nobody likes to see that. Graham, what score is it? It's one up to CC. CC, club champ. Club champ. Right, golf mate. Stunning par three here. It's 181 yards. We've both got six iron. I've not played this course, so again, advantage, Graham. You don't want to go left, mate. That's all I would say to you. Any, any... I'm just hoping for a good swing now, because that, uh, that hybrid was a bit of a shocker, wasn't it? Well, I've had and a... the chip within as well. I've had a couple of shockers myself, Liam, so... Yeah, your hybrid weren't bad. Mm. But anyway, part of the old, didn't you? This is it. It was a great iron ball striker. Hi, Graham. Hi, <laughs> Graham. Oh, Graham, that going to chase up lovely? No, it's short, mate. Oh, Graham. It's a bit short, actually. So if anyone wants to know, I met Graham in Scotland. We did, yeah, we met uh, St Andrews. St Andrews. The Carrick, no, what's it called? St Andrews. Uh, Fairmont, Fairmont, yeah, the Torrance. So I was caddying for Dan Gavins, you were caddying for Eddie, and that's where we met. Pep, We've been friends yeah. ever since, haven't we? Absolutely, mate, yeah. I think you got the wrong number there. <laughs> Caddy. You still caddying? I just choked it, to be honest <laughs> with you, mate. Right. Hey, the door is open. <laughs> but we know your short game, don't we? <laughs> Uh, the door is open. Ooh. Get up. Whee. Nice. That's a long way from the pin, is it? Or is that all right, Graham? Yeah, I was just lulling you into a false sense of security. That was a long way back. Hey, golf mates, look at this. I love this course. Broken tea bin. That's more teas from a par freeze, that, eh? <laughs> Can't take me out of bottle, can you? <laughs> And I'm meant to be the tight one as well. Look at them bad boys, eh? <laughs> right, golf mates, when in Scotland, don't chip it. Now, I would have chipped this, but you're saying this is a safer shot, is it, Graham? Well, I just feel the ball on the ground is better than the ball in the air. So you are like old man Pat. Uh, I've got... I should too put it, but I've got to come up with Mackenzie, but it's all about Graham. Oh, CC, club champ. Let's give it the old uh, see you, Jimmy. Is he going to get over that Mackenzie? It's got over that Mackenzie. Is it? Go this is a great putt, this. That's, do you know what? That, that was a class putt, that. Yeah, it wasn't far away from being good. Was that a full driver swing? <laughs> yeah, nearly. Eh? Wow. <laughs> Tricky putt, Graham, eh? Yes, mate. I, uh, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I know. <laughs> Are you allergic to metal, Graham? <laughs> what? Why? We you tend the flag? <laughs> <laughs> only joking, pal, only joking. Leave me alone in. I just can't get that one in. I've only got four jokes and only I found that funny. I think, right. these, I think these flags are made of bamboo. Right. Just write a Graham's marker. Oh, Lee. Oh, it's a great putt, this. Sensational putt. Can't even make you putt that. I don't want that, Graham. I can't even make you putt that. What do you want? 
Take it away. Oh, God. <laughs> Free it. <laughs> Would you like it in or out, sir? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll have it out, please, mate. There you go. Good three. Thank you. All right. The next old golf mates, honestly, this Archfield is class. What's this course called again? This is the Durleton. Which one did we play? We played Fidra. Right, so here's the Fidra. Um, it, what were you saying? There's over the par three, what is there? A lighthouse or something? Yeah, so it's, it's actually named after Fidra Island. The course is named after the Fidra Lighthouse, which is the lighthouse you see. Right, is that is Bass Ross Rock near any of them? Yeah, Bass Rock's the next sort of right. rock along. Looks smart. So that's one we played then, isn't it? Yeah. So that's where the nines like links it and nine like like woven really old trees and pine forests, yeah. isn't it? There's quite an interesting story about the lighthouse. So there, there's a house on on the property which uh, used to be owned by Robert Louis Stevenson, who wrote Treasure Island. So the book Treasure Island, they reckon, is based on Fidra Island, which has got the lighthouse on it. Right. So that's uh, that's wee bit, interesting. We bit of knowledge for you there. Yeah. Cheers. You got any better knowledge than that? Oh, I've got loads. I've got loads of stories that are. I don't know if the I golf mates. I did say you were the so... coolest man in Scotland. I thought you were going to tell us you went surfing or you've. Surfed... Oh, I've been. I've been. I've paddleboarded out to that island. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. I can imagine you. Is that paddleboards where you stand on and just yeah, yeah, yeah. do that? Yeah. Budgie sprinklers or. Nah, the just the, just the old uh, the lycra tights that I wore when I, when we were up in Scotland. Oh, actually. Don't get us going on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I dressed like a greenkeeper yeah. and he were cool. Yeah. Right, anyway, I don't want to put you off. This is for a stay all... No, you want up. You need this. Oh, he's marking it again. I just see a little bit more break then. Than oh, I did the do first you use day. your line on your ball? Yeah. All right. Here's okay. CC for a par. Oh! Here you go, mate. Tuck great, it away. Great forward. So people are wondering now, oh, plus one CC. Let me tell you, we have got in front of people playing so we can film. Yeah. It's not easy, is it? It's oh, well, different, isn't it? You're rushing you a little bit, but yeah, I should be able to hit the golf shots at, the, at that time. And you've got a hernia. Well, that doesn't help. Right, golf mates, last hole of the trip. Are you ready for this? All square. This all, you say it's drivable, aren't you? Definitely is. It's 280 though, but is it playing less if you cut the corner? Well, it's probably going to be about 250 on the fly, but yeah. Right. I, I noticed you've got an iron. Liam, Liam, Liam. If you, if you ever want invited back here, you better stick that away. Are you going for it? I'll be going for it. Right, so it is drivable. <laughs> it's stroke 18. Go on, we'll have a go. We'll have a go. All square. All square. We have to have a winner, so it might not be, you know, if we are this, we might have to come up with an idea for have a winner. What is it? Is there any room right? A little room right, but you want to be aiming between the bunker and the flag. The bunker at the front edge and the flag. Well, let's have a go, eh? Come on, sir. Ooh, that's got to get down. Has it? Yeah. Should be okay, mate. Ah, I've seen it bounce twice. Should be okay, then. Yeah. I just wanted to put the old uh, the G heebie up jeebies. You. I wanted to put the old heebie jeebies up you. <laughs> you get an iron down. No <laughs> danger. Bad swing. Well, Cece's here to win. I well, uh -huh. she is, isn't she? <laughs> Cece is here to win. Club Cece champ. Pediston is here to win. She was a singer, so Graham does a bit of singing. Oh. In fact, here is Graham. There is a champ up in the highland. Sandy hills from Morgan Tower. He's Bobby Mack, he loves the crack and he'll never let you down. I've been, been known to do a little bit of singing. In the so I told you he's cool. He sings, surfboard, snowboard, golfer, train spotting, wine connoisseur. Don't know about a golfer. All the uh, others are true. An all round top cool dude. So with that wind, the line is them bunkers, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have to give it a bit of a smack. That is a beautiful... Stay left, Graham. Go left, Graham. Where's the bounce? There, just short the greens. So oh, go in. Oh, no, go it's in. to the pin. <laughs> oh, chicken and rice. Here's Graham with a reminder of the shot. Replay, <laughs> replay. Can we have a replay? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I need a... Well, I just need up and down it for a birdie. I'm not saying you're going to eagle it. So we played Dunbar first, then we played Winterfield. Uh, Dunbar, we're going to be starting on this par three. It was the third hole. Oh, we had the light behind it. It was class. Beautiful. 
But the greens were that fast. I put it to about 15 foot. <laughs> I put it about 15 foot past. Well, there's a wee story about that par three, mate. That's uh, one of my three holes in one on that hole. Seven iron, you see it coming over the bunker. Rolled, trickled in, trickled in, trickled in. Last roll in the can. And why you watched it? Well, oh, well, it's quite a, it's not a great hole to have a par, to have a hole with one at because all the clubhouse is watching you. So yeah. they know you have to come in and put the bottle of whiskey behind the, the bar. Wow. <laughs> well, look at this. Well, I'm all the way there. It's not bad, mate. I, well, I said it weren't the best, but an up and down will do me. I'm like, look at yours, look at yours. Stop <laughs> it, Graham. I'll get your putter. Hi, right, Graham. Um, got my 58, and I'm thinking it's not the club. At first, I thought I had floated, but now I'm, I'm panicking. Do you not know, see a more of a pitch and run, Liam? Though I do a bit, but I'm going to try and work some. I've got. I can see some. I visualise some, mate. Come on, mate. Very nice. I think it visually worked out, Graham, didn't it? Visually, fantastic. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm it's impressed. Not way, is it? I'm impressed by that. I sat down a bit better than I thought that. So you have that, you don't bolt with hands, I can put a bit of that wee jizzy jizzy on it. Well, I think the old, uh, I think the old Mizunos have done you a favour there, because that rolled out from a fair way away. I right, coming out the wet rough. No. Now this is an eagle, so we do have a thing on the channel. If you have an eagle, we double it up to our 10, we call it 10 your yours you'll win for an <laughs> okay, eagle. Pal. Okay then. So you're just coming back, talking to us about an all-in-one you had, one in three, at Dunbar. Yeah. And now you've got an E. Do you want to leave the pin in? Um, take it away from me, Liam. So Feeling golf mates, what I will say, how good is he, Graham? How CC? But hopefully you've liked this series in Scotland, and uh, we've showed you something different. But I think I will be back at East Lothian because it's beautiful. And his favourite's Mr Barlow, by the way, so we might have to bring Mr Barlow up. Can't wait to meet Mr B. I think I'm going to start it pretty straight, but I do know that it wants to move slightly right to left at the end. Well, I think it might come to me near the end. But let's hope he gets it. This is for an eagle, par four, 280 yards. It's coming, it's coming. Oh, it's not moved. Oof. I've got a marker here, mate. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Thanks, pal. <laughs> I thought it was going to do a little bit of left to right, but you're just not starting off right. It's a great effort, though, isn't it? It's past the hole. Right. I see left edge now. Please tell me I'm right. Because it's no straight, this. It's left edge, like I said, isn't it? Why well, don't I just trust myself? I'll give you my marker, Graham. Is that all right? What's that, mate? Is this okay? No, that's fine, of course. Graham, I'm going to make you put it for the money. It's for the cash. Bangers and mash. <laughs> so, Graham, here's Graham for a reminder of the score. Where are we up to, Graham? We're all square, are we not? Yeah, so this is for the victory. Your pump. And this will make it one all in mine and yours little matches over the years, won't it? Yep, yeah, it's definitely doing the right thing, making him put it. It's for money. The birthday and the money, CC, club champion. Thanks, pal. Right, I'm thinking, now we've got time, I'm going to say this, listen, big up to Red Lion Rentals. Comment below, Red Lion Rentals, if you want to win a trip in one of the trucks. Graham, thank you for coming on. You're a plus one handicapper. <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm going to say this. Do you want another match off scratch? I love another match Four off scratch. Four or five holes off scratch. And should we try and go off the back tees for a giggle? I think we should go off the back tees. Because that's where giggle. you won your CC. So I'll, if I can beat you, I can beat LL. I would, I would agree. LL. Liam loser. Yeah, I got that wrong. <laughs> right, golf mates. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Archfield and thank you to this man. Graham, I think they should comment on the cart. They're, they're in the giveaway. Next match, who's going to win? Golf mates, see you soon. Well, that sign says it all. How cool is that? Anyway, end of an era in Scotland. We're off. Listen, big one. Red Lion Rentals. Thank you very much. We've had an absolute great time. Anyway, Joe's staying here. Bye!